Good morning, my saddies. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm going to do a love reading for the month of February. I plan on doing a couple different spreads this month, but um, this one is one that I created. It's called Mirroring. So it's basically about the person you're thinking about, whether you're partnered with them currently, um, or if it's an ex, or it could be some, but well, you're not really thinking about somebody new unless you're trying to call it in. I've been getting a lot of ex energy, so um, so far I haven't seen anything new. I might have to create a different spread for that, but um, anyways, I get the sense that somebody's, the memory of somebody is haunting your every thought, like just your entire day. Um, and I, it's weird because I don't normally put music or anything in my, in my videos, but I have been so drawn to songs lately, uh, kind of makes me wonder, <laughs> like, why, but I don't know, I find, um, signs and synchronicities and everything, so I feel like I'm supposed to do this, so instead of reading you the lyrics or having you endure my lovely voice. <laughs> um, I'm just going to play it for you. It's called Every Little Thing, and it is exactly what I'm feeling. So I'm going to shuffle while I play this. Hopefully you can hear it. So if you're interested and that resonated with you at all, um, I can't remember, I think it's like Carrie, what was it? Carly Pierce, every little thing. Um, you might get some insight from it. I know that music speaks to me, so I wanted to share that. And I'm also going to share that throughout my entire shuffle for you guys, I keep seeing the Wheel of Fortune. So this is like positive change coming in. The divine is seriously at play here. Um, my gosh, I'm covered in goosebumps all of a sudden. Anyways, um, there's something bigger than you, bigger than this person, bigger than this relationship um, that's coming in. And I feel like it almost feels like a tower moment, but not... Um, but not a bad one. Like, it might be a little difficult to get through it initially, but it's almost like once you, like, get over that hill, you finally reach the, you know, the meadow, the your dreams. The That's crazy. I had it. Okay. This is weird, and I'm sorry that I'm talking too much, um, but I just pictured like the meadow that I said, like your dreams coming true. And when I was a kid, because I've always been able to talk to spirit and um, I didn't understand it when I was a kid and it scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's probably why I battle with anxiety so much. But anyways, um, I at night, when I would have, I would have nightmares all the time. And the, 
most people say count sheep to go to sleep. Well, I couldn't do that. And for some reason, I was always taken back to this grassy meadow where the sun is shining so brightly and there were just flowers in bloom everywhere. And I would be running through the fields, like, just at, at, so at peace. And I haven't thought about that since I was probably, I'm going to say, like, eight or nine years old. So I don't know if anyone else has ever thought that or dreamt that or whatever, but I get the sense that it's coming back to me because it's like, go to your safe space. What do you want? Follow your dreams. Um, let go of the things that are holding you back. Okay, that was a lot without any cards. So, with this new spread, we're going to find out what's either bringing you two together or just the mutual energies between the two of you. So, mutual energies are what's bringing Sagittarius and the person they're thinking about together. Okay, well, Queen of Wands, there you are. <laughs> Maybe you're bringing this person in. It could be somebody new. Um, we'll know more soon, but this is basically just standing in your power. She is strong. She's driven. She's creative. She's passionate. She, she knows what she wants, and she gets it, basically. Um, and this is the chariots at the bottom of the deck right now, so this is moving forward, and it's... <laughs> I just heard yin and yang, so, and I've been hearing that a lot. Even my kids are saying it now. It's weird. But anyways, I just feel like it's something really big is about to happen, and I'm excited. Um, I want one more for the mutual energies. And there's a sun behind her in that chair, too. It's like enlightenment being happy with yourself. You can take all those. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so if you my phone's ringing. I'll have to get it later. Um, anyways, if this is you, Sag, you are confident and you're working on yourself and you're slowly moving towards this person um, to let them know how you feel or, I mean, I know it's pentacles, so it's not really like, um, it's not emotional, it's more tangible. It could be offering stability, a, a stable connection, um, offering help to somebody for a possible new beginning, or it just could be that you're, you're taking a leap of faith, following your intuition and contacting this person. Like maybe you've been trying to contact them telepathically and it's almost like you feel like they hear you or you just have an inner knowing that they do, but you want it concrete. Like, okay, I'm done talking to you in my head. I want I want you to say something back to me, you know what I mean? And not just have it be a feeling. So I kind of get the sense that if you're not dealing with Sagittarius, another one or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, or even an earth sign, but I'm more drawn to the queen of wands here. If you're not dealing with another fire sign, then this is you doing this. Um, I'm also reading this as if this is Sagittarius's side, and this is the person that you're thinking about dealing with, what have you, um, and they're moving this way. So I kind of get the sense that you're doing something here. Okay, so what does Sagittarius want to happen with this connection? want to happen with this connection please. Oh, I just 
take this ring off. It's driving me nuts. It's probably why I took it off before. Oh. Oof. Okay. So you want the five of wands. Um that's that's conflict. I mean, it could be arguments, but I get I get the sense that you don't want to fight with this person anymore. You want to resolve something because I also see the tower and I mentioned that before I even, you know, pulled anything. So I kind of feel like maybe this message that you're sending this person or that you're thinking about sending them um is is like you know, you're waving the white flag, you know, let's call a truce or you just want a peaceful resolution at this point. It's almost like you love this person so much that whether they come back to you or not, you just, you don't want to fight with them. You want there to just be this calm, you know, this calmness between you guys. And it takes a lot of strength to do that. Like, I feel like if you haven't already done this, you are building up the courage to do so, but you're going to do it. Like you've already made up your mind. You're just like toying with the idea like, oh, well, what if, what if, what if I make things worse? Um, I don't think you're going to make things worse. Yeah. I feel like you don't want to have conflict anymore. What is the other person? want from this connection all of my hair night queen sun hmm. I don't know this just popped in my head too because I don't normally share this with people but the number 16, I'm telling you why, it haunts the crap out of me. Like, I see it everywhere, and I just saw an orb. But anyways, um, so I don't know if that, like, look it up. Um, I know it's, for me, like, it's more of a warning. It's not, um, it's not always a bad warning. It's just letting me know, prepare yourself for something, because uh, something's coming in. Um, in the past, it wasn't very pleasant warning, but I don't know. I see it differently now. I also see 222 and um, 1111 a lot. So, and it, I mean, I see it in my daily life. I see it when I do, you know, channel messages for you guys or for anyone. So, if any of those numbers are resonating with you, check them out. All right. What does this person want from this connection? <sighs> okay. They want the high priestess. Too many little petal things over here. Um, the four of pentacles. And the two of pentacles. I feel like they don't want to be confused anymore. Like, I don't know if... Their memory is haunting you, or if your memory is haunting them, or both. I mean, this is mirroring. So, okay, if you say you're doing really well, you're focusing on yourself, doing your own thing, and then all of a sudden, this person pops back in your head, and you're like, damn it, um, I haven't thought about you in a while. Like, why the hell am I reminiscing all of a sudden out of nowhere? Is because they're doing that about you. So you're feeling their energy. Um, but it's not a bad thing. I mean. Just make sure you don't dwell on the bad aspects. The whatever caused the relationship to end. Um, I mean if there's something that needs to be resolved. Yes by all means resolve it. But don't don't have a negative. Uh, can't talk. Um, a negative mindset. I feel like it's like they want to let go, but they can't. They don't know what to do. It's like, should I, 
should I stay or should I go? Like, hmm. I feel like if you let go of this person, like, internally, um, like a lot of time has passed, you're moving forward, that they can feel that you, that you're letting go. And they don't want to let it go. It's almost like I heard my terms, like, I don't know, like in my head, whether I'm, I'm thinking about this person right now. So in their head, whether they're with you or not, whether they're in a completely different relationship or single or whatever, it's almost like have my cake and eat it too. Like I'm not calling this person a player or anything like that. I mean, they might've had that energy in the past, but it's more of like a possessive, um, you're mine, you're mine. Like, so they don't want to let the memories go. Um, they probably want to come forward. I don't really see it yet, but um, I feel like whatever this message is that goes this way is going to awaken something and it's going to cause a little bit of upset in, inside them. Like, oh crap, what do I do? Like, they might have been very focused at work. Um, so they were kind of like not thinking about the connection for quite a while. Or if they were with somebody else, they were like, they dove in head first, um, almost kind of like um, rebounding, you know, keep your mind busy. <laughs> and now I feel like they have to face their feelings because they didn't face them like you did, unless this is you. Vice versa, people. I don't know what side you're on. I'm saying this is you, but they are stressed out. Like this is confusing the crap out of them. They're just like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, because if they are in a relationship with somebody else, whether you know about it or not, I feel like they care about this person, but I feel like this connection is it's like a, a a love or a connection that they have never felt in their entire life so it's it's scary and confusing like why do I feel this way I don't love people like that like you know what I mean like maybe they're finally realizing like damn I do like I have these feelings um <coughs> excuse me I need a sip of my coffee It's going to get cold over there. That's not good. Ugh. Anyways, I don't like cold coffee. So, unless it's iced coffee, not like it matters. Anyways, um, so what does Sagittarius want to happen? No, that's not it. I'm sorry, I'm reading my notes because I keep forgetting. Oh, what action should Sagittarius take to make this connection work? I don't want three. Ooh, you might be dealing with a water sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. You could be dealing with anybody. You really could. I kind of get a lot of, I feel fire, water, and air. And I might feel the air because of all the mental, like the thoughts and communication stuff. But, I mean, it could be anybody, whoever you're dealing with or thinking about. Um, so what you need to do <laughs> is speak your truth to this person. Tell them, tell them how you feel. It's almost like with the page of pentacles, start off slow. Like don't rush the communication. Like if you send a message, um, Hmm. Okay. I just... I get this sense that... You, you already sent a message. Like, the page and the night's different. It's almost like... You sent a, hey, how are you? How you been? Or 
whatever. Um, you know, just a a chill message to probably a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it was also like it's like a message to you. It's endearing because you're like, okay, I really love this person. So just the fact that I said hello is going to show them that I still care, that I that I have feelings for them because um, because I haven't talked to them in forever, you know? Um, it's like, basically, they'll know that they are on my mind. <coughs> um, but it wasn't like a lovey-dovey you know, hey, I want you back, come marry me kind of thing. It was just like, hey, how you been? Um, and then we have the Queen of Swords. It, and I don't get this as cutting somebody off. I get it as... Uh, it might be cutting somebody off. If you, Sag... Or if you're dealing with a Sag, like I said, vice versa. It gets confusing because you guys mirror each other too damn much. Um, if they have somebody else, they're going to communicate their truth to that person and try to end the situation. Um, I got that, and I also get that they want to speak their truth. Uh, like, clear the air. Like, what happened here? Like, you deserve to know. I don't feel like... I don't feel like this person over here has said their truth yet. I feel like we're still in this page of pentacles um, kind of stage, like playing it cool, you know. Um, we don't want to cause conflict. So it's almost like they're testing the water. Like, is this person going to talk to me? Because I don't want to fight with them anymore. I don't. And if they talk to me, great. Like, keep the peace. Um Speak your truth by all means, especially if this is you. Oh, both of you need to do that. Um, you know, feelings-wise anyways, but don't go in head first. Like, make sure that they're coming back for the right reasons. And, you know, honestly, whether they come back or not, like, if you guys go back into Union, which, with the Wheel of Fortune popping up 20 million times, I'm going to say that there's going to be, like, um, a reconnection within this, within the union at, in some way, shape, or form. Um, you guys are going to reconnect. But if you don't do it the right way and move slowly and really get to know this person again, um, it's going to crumble back down. Like, you need to speak your truth. They need to speak theirs. I feel like there's a lot of I'm sorry's here. I get more from one side than the other, but I feel like both of you are sorry for something. Um, hmm. It's almost like secretly holding on. It's kind of like when this person sends this message, they're not, the person over here is like, really happy, like, oh my god, I can't, like, shocked, like, oh my god, they messaged me, like, out of the blue, but they're not telling the person that they they knew it was coming, or they were just waiting for it to happen, because they could feel it, like, <laughs> you guys both keep stuff from each other, at the bottom of the deck, we have four of cups and justice, I feel boredom in a current situation, and it's almost like this uncertainty, like, are you going to do, is the past going to repeat itself, basically, um, but I feel like somebody wants to bring justice to the situation, because they're just not fulfilled where they're at right now, um, and I feel like it's this side, because that's the last time I shuffled, so somebody wants to balance the scales, and that might be why I keep seeing two, 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 and whatever, like, I don't know, the number two is my favorite number, because the best things come in pairs, you know, at least that's the way I look at it, one's the loneliest number, all right, so, what does, 
Um, the person Sagittarius is thinking about need to do for this connection. What is their action? Ooh. Uh. Wow. Ten of Swords. They need to end something. They either need to cut the shit with their... Oh, excuse me. Um, I don't know. Like, I see him... I see someone yelling, like, maybe this person has a really hard time communicating how they feel, so when you get, when, when the conversation is deep and meaningful, it's almost like they're in defense mode, and they'll start, you know, getting all, like, huffy and, and shit, like, they don't, they need to cut that out, um, they also need to end something, and I'm going to find out what they need to end. I feel like it's really hard to talk to this person, or it used to be. They need to take a leap of faith. Let's see. What is this ending that they need to do? They might need to end worry, too, like anxiety, um, stop thinking about the negative stuff in the past. Huh. With the moon. They need to end this secretive energy. This person, yeah, they hurt you. If you're who, I'm reading you over here, but this person, they need to stop lying. That's why I was getting all that, you know, someone yapping, like flapping at the mouth. Um, they need to stop lying to themselves, they need to stop lying to you, they need to stop lying to everybody. I feel like this person has some inner demons, and it's almost like it's easier for them to bullshit you than it is for them to be honest, because they're scared. They're scared. They don't want to get hurt. So, like, the pain that they caused you or anybody else, it's almost like they'd rather do that because they don't feel it. It's like a toddler when they bite someone. They don't really feel that it's wrong because they can't feel the pain until, you know, the mom comes over and bites them back and is like, how's that feel? And then they stop biting because they're like, fuck, that hurts. I kind of get that sense over here. Like, they're feeling the sting of their actions and they need to let this behavior go. Yep. They need to move away from it. I kind of feel like they are. I feel like they're taking a sweet-ass time doing it. It's also let go of the past. Like, I think I just said this, or maybe I thought it. I don't know. Um, release the bad memories. Like, don't focus on the negative. They need to get out of that, that negative headspace. Um... They need to get their own clarity within themselves as well as with you. Um, I feel like this person's struggling a bit. And then, but like I said, I keep wanting to say this for some reason. And I know it's the mirroring spread and I know you guys are mirroring each other. But seriously, vice versa. And the reason I say that is because if you are mirroring each other, it means you both feel this in some sort of way. Either they did it to you or you did it to them. And even if I'm pointing over here, if that, th if that resonates with you and that's how you're feeling, that's your energy and then they're picking up on it or vice versa. Um, I didn't realize how confusing these spreads were going to get with the energies colliding. But I can break it down for the most part. But you guys pretty much are feeling the same way. So I do feel like one of you, probably you, you're in a calmer state of mind than this person. Like, I feel like you have resolved either all of the issues that you had with this person, because you wouldn't be trying to resurrect it or clear the air if you hadn't. Um, but I also, and if you haven't fully done it, you're almost there. Like, you have a more peaceful energy is what I'm feeling. Like, this person is wound the fuck up. Like, tighter than a clock. I'm just saying. Like, when I was pulling these cards, my... I was getting shaky. Now I got goosebumps again. Um, what is Sagittarius' obstacle? What do they need to overcome for this connection? Oh, yeah. 
what did I need to open? Should I take it? Should I put yeah, I feel like Okay, Sag. You have the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So this person needs to release this negative mindset, I guess. Like they need to stop carrying the past along with them. Like I feel like whoever you're dealing with, I mean, this could go either way, like either you or them. This obstacle on this side is basically don't be the love them and leave them type. Don't rush into some into this person's life um and then fuck them over or you know somebody needs to release that energy but it also could be if that's this person like that's what they did to you you need to release the burdens of that like release that fear don't because if you focus on oh it's just gonna cheat on me again or he loved her more or you know if you do all that comparing crap which is easy to do. That's what you're focusing on. And whatever you focus on is what you manifest. So you need to release that, those fears. Because regardless if this person comes back again, if you've done the inner work and you truly are standing in your power and you love yourself, even if they do bring this energy back, you're going to be like, fuck you, bye. Like, I love you, but I love myself more. You know what I mean? I'm trying to keep these in the video, but I can't. Whatever, good enough. So I feel like you need to release that, the burdens that you carry. Oh yeah, see? The shadow side, devil. This is fear. This is attachment. This is, yeah, fear. Like I said, you're afraid of this happening again, and you need to release that because if you don't, it's probably going to happen again. Like, um, that's why you should also move slow. So let's see, what is the other person's obstacle? Oh my gosh, that's way too many. Well, screw it, I'll do it. Two of Swords, the Sun, the Emperor, and the Four of Wands. I feel like This person over here needs to make a decision to be happy no matter what and just take charge of the of their life, their own stability. Um, I also get the sense that like I just heard don't don't rely on someone to make you happy. So choose you, but The person you're dealing with might have a family situation that they they're at a crossroads. They don't know they don't know how to end it or they don't know what to do about it. Um, because I'm really looking at this little boy. Hey, there's the meadow, and I had a dream about a horse a, a few nights ago too. Um, yeah. This person, the person you're dealing with might have a child with somebody else or children. I see, I don't know, it could be one or multiple, but I feel like there's a family dynamic or it could just be family, like, you know, their parents, sisters, brothers, whatever. Um, there's an issue within the family and... This person needs to, to take charge of their own situation. Like, man up, I guess. That's what I just heard. Man up. And they just don't know how to go about it, though. It's like they want it. They just want things to work out. It's almost like they don't, they don't want to put the work in, but they just want it to work out. Um... I freaking miss you. I get, I get that too. They're stuck in a family situation. They need to end something. They need to 
figure out whatever's going on in their current environment. They're juggling. Um, they're holding on to to secrets. They're not ready to release them. That's what they need to do. They need to cut the crap. Um, yeah. Otherwise, they're not going to have a new beginning. They need to have faith. They need to just push through. They need to become the emperor and just get their butts moving. All right. So if Sagittarius and this person can overcome their obstacles, what is the possible outcome of this connection? Possible outcome, spirit. But even on their side, like them wanting this happiness and everything, I kind of get the sense that with the two of swords, one sword is them thinking about their family dynamic right now, and the other sword is you. Which They're at a crossroads. Which direction do I go? Like, he or she makes me so happy. I want to have a family with them. I want, you know, the commitment. But I, I, I love my family. Like, my family won't approve, or I don't know what the situation is, but I feel like it's you and family. You and family. Like, they just don't know what to do. But you make them happy. They have fond memories of you. Okay. Knight of Swords. Can I get another one for the outcome? I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this person, especially with the sun card being here, they are going to figure this out. Right now, it's cloudy for them, but they're gonna. I mean, that's the happiest card in the deck. Plus, you got the four of wands, 11-11 stability um and the emperor you know he takes charge he he's a powerful man and then i know it goes from the emperor to the knight but like i said start off slow this is rushing in for, with communication like telling you the things that you didn't know that you've been wondering about that you want to know let's see what is he bringing in or she what is this nice look about for the possible outcome Then we go to the page. Like I said, start slow. It's almost like he's going to rush in, or she. I'm saying he because there's a he in the card. Um, rush in and communicate with you, but it's going to be like, hey, hi, how are you? How you been? Um, it's a positive message, but it's also... It might be a little flirtatious. But it's younger energy. This person might be younger than you or you're younger than them. Um, and if that's not the case, it's just the level of communication is at a, a more immature level. Um, could be dealing with Scorpio. Oh, with the death card, eight of pentacles, king of swords, it could be somebody coming in with the truth. You know, I've, I've thought a lot about this and being logical. I'm trying to end a situation because I want to work on it with you um, or I'm working on this. I don't know when this transformation is going to happen, but I'm trying. Okay, I want one more. What is this message about for this outcome? Is it going to be well received? What is it? It's also... It's funny because I just noticed this. It's like this person is rushing in really fast with communication. And then this person is like, hey, how are you? How you been? Like, <laughs> playing it cool. Like, I'm going to act like I care less than you do. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head. But he's facing this way and the page is facing this way. So it's almost like, oh. You finally came in. I've been waiting for this. I'm not going to tell you how I really feel about you, but what's up? And then, <laughs> this is funny. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. This is making a decision and moving forward with it. Like, being ready to move forward, but not quite taking the all. All the steps haven't been taken yet, but you're like halfway halfway there you know what I mean like you've made the decision the import that part's done you just need to put it into action um and then we have 
the page of swords i feel like they're coming in because they've been watching you and this is also light-hearted conversations go between each other um i mean he can be kind of a a-hole sometimes and not because he's like an you know he's not the emperor reversed or anything like that he's just it's almost like he has a hard time articulating what he wants to say so sometimes he says things wrong kind of like what i said up here um also be careful with lies he needs to release this or she sorry this person needs to release this uh, secretive energy. So I feel like they might not, when they come in, they might not be lying to you. But they're withholding the truth. Which withholding the truth is tangible to lying in my eyes. So basically, they're not saying, they're not lying to your face. They're just not telling you everything. There we go. That's what I was getting at. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is positive. This is a new beginning. But with that, I still I feel like there's a choice between you and a family situation. Um, person coming this way needs to clear up that secret of energy. They're also watching you. That's probably why they messaged you. Um, you could be watching them too, but I, I feel like they're, they're watching you. Um, just to see where you're at. And they might be seeing that you're successful, that you're doing really well. Um, and they want to be part of that. I don't know if it's fully if that's the only reason they're coming back or if they've just seen the growth within within you like maybe you're doing something that is that you've always wanted to do that you never had the courage to do it like they're seeing you stand in your power um and it's attractive because you're confident you're not um you're not lacking in in, in anything even if you feel like you are sometimes, you're presenting yourself like you are on top of the world. Like, and that's how they're viewing you. I want to know, okay, are they only coming back for money or is this a new beginning? Like, do they want to work together with this? I know the Ace of Pentacles is really, it's a good card and it's a good solid beginning. Um, also could be a job. This person could be looking for work and um, they don't know how to move forward because they, they need that stability themselves. Um, there could be a little bit of jealousy here that you're doing better than them. Just heard that. So, let's see. What is this Ace of Pentacles of the Page of Swords, please, for the outcome? I just really hope that they're not coming in with bullshit, saying that they want to start something with you, but they're really coming in with this Knight of Wands energy, like... I want a new beginning, I want to be with you, but then they sleep with you and leave. That could be for some of you, um, but that could also be a worry, because this is an obstacle this person needs to overcome on this side, so that just might be a worry that you're thinking, or this person's thinking, like, they're just going to come back and love me and leave me. Like, you got to let that go, because whatever's meant to be will be. And even if they do, if you allow it, don't get so invested that they break you. Like, don't ever give someone that much power over you. You're better than that. Oh, speaking of sex, Ace of Wands. It can be a creative, like, passionate new endeavor, transforming, seeing things, like, differently. Like, I want to charge ahead. We did have the... I saw the two of wands, now we have the three of wands, so one, two, three, that's progression. Um, this is waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something good to come um, after the work, or the, yeah, after the work that you've put in. So it's like beginning, middle, end, like, you can see the progression with that. Um, and two aces, that's positive. Um, and we also have the queen of pentacles. Uh, that's a earth sign, 
um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have a lot of pentacles here. So it could be that either you or them are dealing with an earth sign or someone with earth in their chart. I really feel heavy Sagittarius or fire and water energy um, like uh, Scorpio and Cancer. Um, there could be Pisces, but I, I know we have the moon and the high priestess, but I feel more Scorpio Cancer. But anyways, um, whoever that, whoever it is, I feel like this could either be, wait, I don't want to say it like that because I don't think that's what it is. So come in, wanting a new beginning, the progression, they're just waiting. They're waiting for a relationship to end, a family situation. This person's probably with somebody. Because we have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Queen of uh, Pentacles, and the Tower. The Tower came out again. So they're waiting for a breakdown in the situation. Like, So the outcome is if you guys overcome your obstacles you're, and take it slow, you're going to get what you want. This person is going to choose you over whatever situation they're in. Um, and I kind of feel like it's going to happen out of nowhere. And then we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, that, this is single energy. So this person is going to end something. But this is also standing in your power. She's abundant. She has everything she needs. Like she wants this person. She doesn't need them. She wants them. So it's almost like. Um, the, I don't want to say the roles have reversed, but it's more like maybe in the past you, you needed them. Like you needed their financial support or you need I'm so hot right now. My face is burning up. Like there's fire energy here. I'm just going to say, um, that came out of nowhere. Maybe you needed them financially. Um, or just in, in general, like codependency stuff. Um, and it kind of drove them away because you didn't have your own independence or this could be them. Um, so now that you do have your independence and you don't need anybody, they see it and they're like, you are so sexy to them. But this person is also afraid of being alone. I'm going to tell you that right now. So maybe, yeah, okay. I gotta stop second guessing myself. Um, the roles are reversed. So all the stuff I just said about codependency and support and everything, you're good. They're not. They are afraid to be alone. So be careful with that. Make sure they're not coming back because they just don't want to be by themselves. Like that they're not just coming back for comfort. I mean, I feel it's like 50-50. Yeah, this person is so... They're also afraid of losing you. I just heard that. So I feel like some of you, because I'm reading for a lot of people in general, and, you know, not all of it's going to apply, take what resonates. But I feel like for some of you, they are afraid of being alone. They're afraid of feeling lack. They're afraid of themselves, basically. But I, And then for others of you, I'm strongly feeling that they are afraid of losing you for good. They don't. It's like they know they got to get off their friggin' high horse and make a move before somebody scoops you up. Um, maybe they think that you're already taken, you know? Could be that. If they're watching you. All right. What advice do you have for Sagittarius in this situation? Ship. Or maybe with this person spying, whoever they're with currently is going to find out and tell them to kick rocks. Or it's going to cause a huge fight between them. That might be part of their tower moment, too. 
All right, so what advice do you have for Sagittarius and the person they're connecting to? Huh. This is why there's a breakdown. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Stay positive. Stay positive. I feel like you're, you are in a positive place, um, whoever I'm talking to, that you are... You're succeeding in your own life and you're happy with the way things are going to the point that you are just so full of love. It's almost like, I feel like some of you have released a lot of these burdens um, from this relationship and you just, you're opening your heart up with like the purest love possible. Like you, I almost get the sense that you don't care. Well, you care, but you want this person to be happy, whether they come back to you or not. And I feel like that is the love beyond all love. Like, that's divine love. That's, that's like a mother's love. You know what I mean? Like, for your kids, not saying that you're a parent to this person, just saying that it's, it's something you can't control, but you also don't let it control your life. Okay. But they're coming in. Okay. And then, like I was talking about, releasing burdens. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I feel like you are learning life lessons and you've come a long way. Um, and forgiving this person is one of those lessons. And for some of you, you're there. And for others of you, you're almost there. Like you are, it's almost like you're just missing one little piece of the puzzle but you don't even need that information. Like, free yourself and forgive them because I'm telling you, it, that's when, it's almost like that's when they get sucked back in because they see how pure you are, how, how genuine you are, um, that your love is real. All right, one more for the other person, please. I mean, overall, this is actually really good, especially if both parties can get over the obstacles um, that they have. And I kind of feel like they will. I don't know how long it will take, but the Wheel of Fortune's here and the Tower and everything. So I'm going to say that hmm, if they don't make a decision soon, the Divine is going to come in and rock their damn world. Because they have... Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, <clears throat> don't push the issue. Um, and I also feel like someone in the situation could have tried to control it too much. Like, my way or no way. Or always trying to get the upper hand. Like, you know what I mean? Um, don't do that. And somebody also needs to heal family issues, like I said before, probably this side. Um, just let things flow naturally. Like, it's coming. It really is. And if you push it and start trying to force, force the connection, it's not going to work. The tower will go on your side, and you're not going to get what you want um, or whoever's side. So... Just just know that there's a bigger plan here, and it's coming together perfectly. Like, there's a lot that needs to be worked out here, but if you can go in with compassion and forgiveness, then I, I feel like this will be successful. Um, and worst case scenario, if you're really in that high-vibing place, maybe being friends would be beneficial, like starting off that way at least. Um, cause I know it's kind of hard to be friends with somebody that you were intimate with. Um, but for some of you, that might, that might be what you want, at least in the beginning. Okay. So I also made up my own little cards and it's something new that I'm doing. I just did it the other day. So I wanted to see if there was any additional messages. So the person that you're thinking about, I asked. If they could talk to you, if they could talk to Sagittarius, what would the, this person say to you? And I got, I am so confused. I feel lost without you. Brokenhearted. 
you're beautiful. I don't know what to say. That's where this lighthearted energy is coming in because they're They don't want to say the wrong thing. It's almost like a fear of losing the connection, like losing you forever. Like if I fuck this up again, you're gone. And then what? Like, I don't know what to do with my family situation. I miss you so much. I feel lost without you. Like I'm, I feel you all the time. You're everywhere. And it breaks my heart. Um, they're very attracted to you, which duh, obviously. Um, but they just don't know how to express it. And then over here, like with the King of Cups, you know, he is emotionally stable, even though there's all this crap going on around him. Like, it, he doesn't express his feelings like he should. So I feel like this person wants to tell you how they feel. They just don't know how the hell to do it. And then I got, the truth is, memories are like a secret photo album. Some are wonderful, while others are horrible. Prepare for a lesson here. Frame what brings you joy and burn the rest. I just got the goosebumps head to toe. So, burn these memories. This bad stuff. Get it out of there. Cut it out. Like, be honest with yourself. Let it go. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but I feel like once you release that, that's when they're going to come in. Um... Actually, this was a pretty good read. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. All right. So um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more apt I am to pick up on your energy. Because um, that's where I send mine out to. Also, I'd like to say if you would like a personal reading, um, please email me. My email is in the box below. And thank you to everyone who has purchased personal readings. I love you, love you, love you so much. You have no idea how much it means to me. I love, I just love helping people. Um, and that's why I'm here. So if I can provide any advice, guidance, whatever, you know, send me a message. Um, I will gladly do what I can. That is my main goal. And happy Valentine's Day. I know that's tomorrow. And if you are alone for Valentine's Day, don't let it get to you. I think it's a Hallmark holiday. I know that a lot of people, you know, as a collective, it's, you know, we're all on the same page kind of thing. And a lot of lovey-dovey stuff happens on Valentine's Day. But if someone isn't showing you that they love you every damn day, it doesn't really mean much. But anyways, don't get down on that day is what I'm getting at. So I'm going to shut up now because I'm pretty sure this video is way too damn long. <laughs> and I apologize for that. But... I wish you guys the best and all the luck in the world, and I will see you next time. Bye!